Hi friends, it's Nicole from the Bronx Children's Museum. I hope you're all having a great day and that you're really excited to learn something new. Today, we're gonna to be learning all about water, agua, and how important it is to each and every one of us. First, we're gonna to listen to a song about water, then we'll read a book, and then I'll show you how to do a fun science experiment at home. So to get us started, have a listen to one of our songs all about the wonderful natural things in our neighborhood. And feel free to dance and sing along too. We're gonna do it like this. I'm a little gray plant growing on the ground. I came from the sea, big and round. When all the rain drops, fall from the sky. I stretch my leaves out and I reach up What a fun song. Did you hear the ending part that was all about water? Believe it or not, we are surrounded by water in our neighborhood. And one of the best ways to find where water is, is to look at a map. Let's take a look at this Bronx map. What colors do you notice on the map? That's right, I see green and I see blue. Now, what do you think those colors stand for? Green usually stands for land, and blue usually stands for water. As you can see, here in the Bronx, we are surrounded by water, and that water can take many different forms. Let's read a book that will show us all the different ways we might use water in our own neighborhoods. Water by Frank Ash, read with permission from HMH Publishing. Water is rain. Water is dew. Water is ice and snow. Water is high in the sky. Water is deep in the earth. Water is a tiny brook growing bigger and bigger. Water is a waterfall and mist. Water is a small pond and a large lake. Water is what fish breathe. and flowers drink. 
water is a salty tear. Water is a flood. Water is a long, winding river. Flowing to the sea. Wow, that book was great. What was your favorite way that they used water? And how have you used water today in your life? Maybe you took a bath, maybe you cooked your lunch in water, or maybe you played in the sprinklers. There are lots of different ways that we use water, but there are two main types of water, salt water and fresh water. Let's take a look at our map again. Do you notice how some of the blue areas are very small? and some of them are very big. On a map, the smaller blue areas are our fresh water, our rivers, our lakes, and our streams. And on a map, the big blue areas are usually our salt water areas, or our oceans, which have very salty water. Now, let's really explore the difference between salt water and fresh water by doing an experiment at home. For this experiment, you're going to need two clear cups, some salt, and two spoons. Now, if you want, you can pause the video now and go and get your materials, or you can wait till the video's over and then do it on your own at home or in your classroom. Let's get started. To help us with this science experiment, we have a special guest today. Um, I'm, hello, my name is Lorian, and I'm from pre-K, and I'm the special guest. And Lorian is gonna help us explore the difference between fresh water and salt water using our five senses. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to mix one jar of salt water. We have one jar of fresh, clean water, and now we're gonna make one jar of salt water. And to do that, we're gonna add some salt to the jar. So Lorian, can you do that part? All right, Lorian is gonna pour some salt in Whoa, all right, that's enough. The first sense that we are gonna to use to explore our fresh water and salt water are our eyes. Lauren, did you bring your eyes with you today? Yeah. And what do we use our eyes for? I'm looking. Looking, so we're gonna put on our Explorer binoculars. Let's take a look first at our fresh water. Tell everybody how the fresh water looks. Um, we, we can see through it. Yeah, we can see through, it's very clear. Now what about our salt water? Does it look the same or different? Different. How so? Because um, it looks like there's flour in. Oh, it looks like there's flour in there. It looks a little white. Can you see through the salt water? No, you can't. So that's one difference that we can see with our eyes. Now we are going to use our sense of taste to compare the fresh water and the salt water. How does that sound, Lorian? Good. Okay, so first take your clean spoon and dip it into the fresh water. Take a little bit and give it a taste. How does that taste, Lorian? Like normal water. All right, now take your other spoon and dip it into your salt water and take a little sip. How did that taste? Like um, salt water. Okay, did that taste good or bad? Good. You think it tastes good? Do they taste the same or different? Different. Which one do you think tastes the best? Um, Which one? The fresh water tastes the best? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> so now let's use our fingers to touch our fresh water and our salt water and see how they feel. Lorian, go ahead and take your spoon and take a little bit of fresh water and put it in your hand and feel it. How does that feel? Um, kind of soft I and mean smooth. Soft and smooth, great. And take your other spoon and dip it into the salt water and tell me how that feels. It feels rough. It feels rough, why do you think it feels rough? Because there's all um, some salt. There's a lot of salt in there, so that makes the water feel a little rough and not as smooth as fresh water. 
So we've done three senses so far. We've done our eyes, we've done our mouth, and we've done our fingers. Now let's use our nose and see if these two types of water smell different. How does the fresh water smell? Um, like water. It smells just like normal water. Now what about the salt water? Can you smell that one? Yeah. How does that smell? Like salt water. It smells like salt water, right? Have you ever been to the beach, Lorian? Yeah? Does that smell a special way when we go to the beach? Yeah. Yeah, you can smell the salty water when you're at the beach, like at Orchard Beach. Now the last sense we're gonna focus on is our sense of hearing. We're gonna use our ears to see if there's any sound difference. This one might be a little bit harder to do, but certainly if you've ever been to a river or an ocean, you know that they sound very different from each other. So let's listen very carefully. Let's listen to the fresh water. Hmm, now let's listen to the salt water and see if there's any difference. What do you think? Um, the, um, the, the fresh water is um, more noisy and, uh, and the um, salt water is much um, quieter. Yeah, it can seem that way here, mostly because our salt water is so heavy because it has a lot of salt in it. So it doesn't move as easily as our fresh water. But sometimes you might notice if you've been to a river that the water may not make a lot of noise. But if you go to the ocean or the beach, the waves make a lot of noise, right? So they can sound different depending on where you are. Well, thank you, Lorian, for showing everybody how to do this fun science experiment. Now it's your turn to do this experiment at home or in your classroom. Can you say goodbye, Lorian? Bye. Water is so important to all of us, whether it's salty or fresh. People, animals, and plants all need water to survive. We hope that you had a lot of fun doing this experiment with us at home. We'll see you next time. Bye.